Hi, Sayyid Naqvi. Uh, I had data and analytics and uh, governance at Al-Hilal Bank. Uh, we're currently launching uh, the new Digital Islamic Bank very, very soon. So excited about that. Uh, the tax, the, the, essentially the infrastructure and the tech stack that we're using is all cloud-based. So we're building this bank with uh, the new edge technologies all based on cloud with, with agile uh, implementation process as well as time to market. And the challenges that we currently have, A, it's hard to get skills uh, around the, the new cloud uh, uh, app stacks, um, as well as uh, people understanding Agile and the, the methodologies around how to deliver rapid applications. Uh, so skill issue is one. Uh, the other issue is that when it comes to implementation, very often, or, you know, very seldom we find uh, vendors who have done the end-to-end -end implementation when it comes to launching a digital bank. Usually you find pieces of the puzzle, you don't find a holistic approach. So finding one stop uh, to shop is, is, is a huge challenge for us. Uh, looking at the future, I think uh, the future is going to be interesting for us because we are moving from traditional on-prem applications to cloud-based infrastructure, uh, which is going to be uh, uh, fundamentally different for us when we look at use cases around AI, for example. Uh, we'll have access to um, abundance of resources on the cloud, which is going to uh, make it so easy for us to use machine learning and all the AI capabilities that comes part and parcel of the cloud capabilities. We're looking forward as a bank to leverage those capabilities to make some sort of a difference in user experience for our customers. So we're eager towards that. You know, absolutely. See, a lot of uh, customer information is in the unstructured data where that banks traditionally have not been capturing at all. The challenge for us, and being a digital bank, we have to uh, you know, get access to the unstructured piece of information from social media, from web, from blogs, from emails, which tells us so much about the customer that we are trying to reach out to. Now, being a digital bank, obviously, we're not facing direct customer interactions. We're just interacting with them using the digital channels. The channel for us is to see what are they believing in, what, how are they feeling, their sentiments, etc on all the social media and blogs and those digital channels to sort of see uh, what are they essentially looking for, where is the behavior shift, and what is it that we as a bank can do for them to enable their life cycle needs. The process starts for us by onboarding customers digitally. That's where we look into technologies which can sort of scan Ember's ID, make it easier for customer the entire journey to be very, very seamless. So we, what we're trying to avoid is forcing customers to type a lot of alphabets. Uh, so we're making it easy by scanning the Emirates ID, scanning the passport, identifying seamlessly whether he's a politically exposed personality or um, he comes from, from, from a country or a nationality which has additional checks in place. If not, then we go through the KYC process we, and, and we seamlessly onboard the customer in a matter of few clicks. So the idea is to, to essentially come up with zero ops. It's, 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 you know, having additional processes the way we used to have it in traditional banks is something that we are trying to kill. So we're extremely paperless, extremely operationless, seamless in a few clicks, you get your current account and saving account, and that's essentially what we're trying to do. But meeting business expectation becomes easier when the technology is in place. My real challenge is getting the right kind of skills. And even when you get the right skills, the attitude of you know making it happen, people who could work extra hours and get it done for you. Um, luckily, uh, with COVID, what has happened is that we were able to tap uh, skill sets beyond our borders, so we could onboard people from India, from Singapore, from Europe, and, and get the right kind of people. So COVID really helped us expedite this faster. But traditionally, the way we used to approach even people, part of the, the puzzle was to, we used to get them on board, f make them fly to UAE, etc. COVID, that's where it really helped us change the game, and we were able to access outsourced resources beyond the boundaries. So that really helped us. AI, conversational AI. And I think it was, is going to change the game for banks very, very soon. Uh, banks are going to go, move away from their apps very, very soon and start creating bots and conversational AI uh, trained uh, you know, intelligence around how banks can start talking to people, uh, their customers with spirit and emotions. And I think that's going to be a game changer for a lot of banks as we, uh, absolutely, absolutely. So there are a lot of companies who are taking Arabic conversations and they're training their neural networks and their bots to understand not just the Arabic as a language, but also the grammar aspects, then different dialects of different countries, and then also bringing emotions into the picture to sort of see what, when a customer is talking to you, what exactly is he feeling? Is he angry? Is he happy? And what exactly does he want out of you? So we're trying to build that as we move forward.